All right, how's it going? I got a, I got another video. I, uh, I ordered a GoPro Hero 8, and I'm assuming that's what's in this box. That would be terrible if it doesn't. They had a whole uh, kit sell thing going on where it was, uh, I believe it was a GoPro Hero 8, an SD card, an extra battery, in addition to the one that comes with, and there's like a little shorty stick. I think there's like a head clamp thing, and all that was, I want to say, 350 Then I additionally got a front and rear screen protector, and I got uh, a thing so I can mount it on a bicycle handlebar, because the big reason I'm getting this is to start to record when I'm on the bike in case I get hit by a car. I'll have <laughs> evidence this time, and... uh and then, of course, I want to figure out some, like, live streaming thing. Then, like, if I go out and, like, shoot a wedding and stuff again with, like, my good camera, I can, like, just have the GoPro just running in the background. If I can figure out some kind of, like, strap thing on me and have it for, like, BTS stuff. Then possibly, like, you can make it kind of a decent webcam, too, I think. But, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just get into it. Cut away from you. Cut away from you. Got that. I mean, for all I got, it was a. It seems like it's a fairly small box, but here it is. It's got the new. It's got that new hyper smooth technology. So we got that. We got the head strap plus quick clip. The shorty stick comes with the 32 gigabyte SD card. And like I said, I if I'm going to be filming while I'm like biking for a couple hours, I didn't know if 32 gigs was going to be enough. So I went on Amazon and actually bought a uh, 128 gigabyte SD card. Because I'm assuming... Because I did a video... Where I kind of did like some Postmates bike deliveries. So I'm thinking about doing some more of those and just do it with the GoPro. So I think when I'm riding around, I'm probably going to film at like 1080p, 60 frames per second. Then maybe when I'm like out and talking to camera and stuff, I'll make it like 4K 24 or something like that. So here is the handlebar seat post pole mount thing I was talking about. I think this was like 30 bucks. Screen protectors, which I heard that you needed to get because the new GoPro 8 doesn't have, uh, <clears throat> you don't have the option to replace the front lens, I guess, like they did in the previous model, so it's good to have some kind of protector. I guess some people still give it a housing. Then also there is a, uh, there's the screen protectors like I got. There's like a whole another housing you can put on it. Uh, 12 megapixel camera, uh, 4K 60, uh, 1080p 240, which would be nice. So it's uh, eight times slow mo. It's got the Hyper Smooth 2.0, Time Warp 2.0. I'm not sure what that is. 1080p live streaming. Because I thought about getting the Hero GoPro Hero 7, but it only did 720p live streaming. So I mean, if you're live streaming, it may not be that. Big of an issue, but I figured I'd just go for that. Live Burst, uh, Super Photo plus HDR. It says RAW. Then this one has like the built-in uh, clamp things at the bottom. I guess it's voice activated. It's touch screen. Uh, water. Uh, water resistant to 33 feet or 10 meters. And it has, says it has GPS. So. Let's do the shorty stick here. I don't want to like rip these apart, but I need the knife again. I guess you could have bought, I mean, this came with the kit too, so it's like a tiny little. It's like a. Oh, come on now. Is there a way to. I 
there we go. I guess I had to... So it's like a tiny little tripod and a little selfie extender stick too. So you have that. So you can kind of, I guess, have it just like that if you want it. But if you need a little bit of extra reach, you can do it like that as well. And of course, you can just set it down there. I mean, selfie stick with a tripod. Pretty, uh, pretty explanatory. So I set that. I think that was a. Uh, I think in the kit it was like twenty three, but normally it's like forty bucks, which seems kind of. I mean, it is GoPro branded equipment, so they're higher. But I think there's a ton of uh. I think there's a ton of like third party Amazon stuff out today that would be just as good as the GoPro stuff. But like I said, a lot of this came in the kit. So, I may actually look and see. Oh man, this thing is. I guess I gotta pull the little tab, I would assume, right? Or is that to pull it out of? I guess that tab there is to pull it out of the GoPro. That's a tiny battery though. It's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of heft to it, but it's tiny. Now whether these have any charge in it, so I can actually play with it or not, I don't know. I don't know if it has any charge or not. I may try to charge it up, so I can try it out today. Then maybe throw some of that footage of this here at the end. Am I cutting the box? So this, I got the handlebar thing, or the handlebar mount for the bicycle. Figure this out. So this probably clamps onto the... Okay, so I'm assuming this clamps onto the bicycle, obviously. Because they have one too, they had this as the, like the bicycle handlebar one. But they also had one that was like a bigger pole one, that you can put on like random bigger poles. And it's got rubber here too, so you can. Is that what this is too? So you can change out the rubber if you have like a tiny pole, I guess. Like I said, I think that one was 30 bucks, I want to say. This one came free, which I don't really want. I didn't really care for this one, but it came free. But there wasn't really any. I was trying to figure out a way if I can like not get this one and get the price to go down or get something else, but it wouldn't work. So. I mean, it might come handy, come in handy. And this is little, that might be, just that alone might be kind of interesting. I don't know. We got all this, those rubber bands, I guess. It looks like you can just use it as kind of like put it on your head. Or put this, it looks like you can put this, uh, on the back end of a ball cap, I guess, is what it's showing. Oh god. Like, if you want a first person view, if you want to make that epic GoPro porno, I guess, you can use this. They also had like a bite grip too, which looks similar to this. It's like literally a thing you bite into, and you can hold the GoPro in your mouth, I guess. Oh, here we go. We got a little. My dog is snoring. Can you hear that? Alright, so we're going to pull this. I didn't want to rip it. We're going to pull this out. It's like a heavy, thick plastic, but that's good to protect it. Yeah, this thing alone by itself is 300 bucks. Which I think, I have a buddy that bought a GoPro Hero 5 years ago. And I want to say when he bought it, that was uh, 400 bucks. But I think since then, they're essentially like the... Like the HyperSmooth has gotten better with these. Oh my god. This, this feels like a toy. Is this the right thing? So like I was saying, with this one they have like the built-in
the uh, built-in kind of flap so it's not like a piece you have to attach anymore. Let me take this screen off. Put that over to the side. Okay, so that's a little... So yeah, the rubber piece, you have to lift it up before you undo it or whatever. Okay. So let's get into this. Unlimited cloud storage of your GoPro footage. Oh, I didn't get the... I didn't buy the GoPro Plus because it, like, it was like 50 bucks for like storage stuff. Then I think it's like another something each month or something like that. So let's... Uh, GoPro app. I'll probably download that. Okay, here we go. So, it's <clears throat> telling you how to... Okay, so it says you just... There we go. You just pop that down and then lift it up. There we go. Okay. Oh, the whole thing comes off too. So it looks like... Oh, man. It's a tight fit. So it looks like you're... There's not even a battery in there, so that's why I didn't turn on. So it looks like your uh, battery and, if you can see that tiny little part there, the SD card slides in there as well. And it looks like there's a USB Type-C. Because I've seen some things... Well, this one has the... Uh, the 8 has the one where you can do the media mod stuff, where you have like the extra housing with the microphone or the little flip-up screen or the little tiny LED. So, Have questions? <clears throat> then it's showing you could stick in a uh, some kind of cord. Chat with our experts. GoPro stickers. And a big old I haven't got a big old book in a while for camera stuff. Open this. Oh, it's kind of all on one side. So, it's USB to USB Type-C. So I'm wondering, so I'm assuming that's how you have to charge it unless you buy the chargers. It's got a battery here. It's got like a little 3M sticky, sticky mount thing, which I could put on something, I guess. That empty bag of nothing. Okay. And that's it. A lot of like wasted extra space. All of this here. So all of this here is about 400 and. Because it's 350 for the kit and an additional 50 for the other stuff I got. And then shipping and taxing stuff. Shipping and tax and stuff. So. I'm assuming there's only really one way you can slide that in there. That is like such a tight fit though. Alright, and it also seems like it's, uh, it's got a little spring-loaded thing in there. So there's some that you put in there and you have to like use your nail to like try to dig back out, but it has a little spring, you just push it and it'll pop it back out. So that's nice. And we'll put a battery in there and it's seemed like it'd be this way. A little tab, so we'll put this back on. This door is like very hefty. Is that the Oh god, no no. Hold on. There we go. Okay, GoPro. Eight black. Oh, that's interesting. The little screen on front actually uh, flips when you turn it. So that's very, it's very interesting. So it's almost like a little toggle here, and you go, you zoom in, you zoom out. Oh my god, this is all warpy. Can I take a photo like this? Yeah, just a photo. Yeah. How do I just I, I touch it or something? How do I... 
Okay, GoPro, take a photo. How do I... No. Do I gotta press the... Oh, you gotta... Swipe, no, get... Mm. Set swipe, okay. And then swipe down, I guess? So I have to get used to these swipe controls. Oh, is it... Oh, okay, so you have to... Okay, so... You gotta, like, swipe left and right on the screen to go between photo, video, and... and time-lapse. And I guess time-lapse is both time-lapse and I think hyper-lapse is on here, too? Or they call it time-warp, I guess? So, no. Get me out of here. Video. Okay. So let's go into video. <clears throat> An hour and 16 minutes for 1080p, 60 frames per second wide, it looks like. Uh, you got 2.7K 60 super view. You have uh, 4K 30 linear. And f t do they not have 4K 24 frames per second? Okay, they do have 24. You just have to actually go in and do it. But I think 4K60 is the max on this. Then 2K, you can do up to 60, it looks like. 1440, you can do 120 frames per second. And... Oh, so it's 4K, 4x3... 2.7, then there's 1440, 4 by 3 then there's 1080, and 1080 does up to 240. So, let's actually do... Yeah, okay. So, let's do 4K24 for now. That swipe down, I believe. Linear. So there's linear, and there's wide, and there's super view. Ooh. Protune, there's some other stuff. Is this getting warm already? This is getting warm already. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Raw audio. Okay, so we'll get into this a little bit more. I just want to... I guess there's a little, like, little preset you can make. So this is... 24 frames per second, 4K super wide view, super view. So, see how that looks in comparison. <clears throat> then, uh, let's try. Let's edit this one, I guess. Let's try wide. So this is the same thing, 4K, 24 frames per second, uh, wide. So it shouldn't be as wide as the Super View. So, all right. <clears throat> then we'll try it. Oh, I guess I can just do, it's got little, little quick menus. We'll do linear. So it's saying, Okay, so it's saying super view is like 16 millimeter equivalent. Uh, wide is 16 to 34. Then linear is 19 to 39. So we'll try the... What did I say it was? Linear? So we'll try that and see how that looks in comparison to the others. And there's a little red blinky light on here. I'm wondering how the handling and the audio is going to sound out of this. I think linear, I'll probably... So it said an hour, so I'm wondering... Obviously I'm still going to probably throw the bigger card in there, just so I don't have to worry about it cutting close and maybe throw the 32 as a backup or something like that. But uh... I guess I will plug this 
in and because uh, I think like I was saying I think riding the bike I'll just do the 1080 60 in case I just in case I need to or want to like slow it down to 30 or 24 for whatever <clears throat> but whether I do wide or super wide I'm not entirely sure or super view wide linear then actually the 1080 has a narrow option which is 27 which is interesting it can like zoom in even more so I don't know like I'm thinking now that uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking 1080p 60 frames per second while I'm riding the bike either wide or super view I'm petting my doggy then I'm thinking like when I take it off the bike and I'm like say I'm doing my bike delivery I'll like talk to the camera then then I'll make it uh 24, or I mean 4K, maybe even 2K. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's what this is with this. I think. So I'll have to plug it in to charge it. I'll need to like connect the apps and get that going and maybe update and all that stuff. But uh, <clears throat> so I guess I'll have to put the other one in there to charge it too. So at some point in time, I may actually buy the extra ones with the dual charger so I can just pop them in there instead of having to have this like plug into a computer or whatever. Then I don't. We'll see over the next day or week or whatever how long it takes to <clears throat> uh, how long the batteries last and it records and all this other cool stuff because it's at 13% now, which the fact that it had some energy in there to begin with is awesome to me because most especially when you get the canon cameras the batteries are like completely dead so tyson's a sleepy boy but uh yeah i think that's it for this gopro video like i said this is this is the unboxing of it uh I'll try to throw that GoPro stuff in I just did, and possibly some more here if I get some stuff filmed in the next day or so. So if I do that, I'll do that now. And if I don't, I just look silly doing that like that. But, uh, <clears throat> all right. If you like this, you can give me a like. If you really liked it, you can subscribe. I got all kinds of stuff, links, in the description all that good stuff I'll link this I guess if you want to check it out if you're interested in stuff I think this might be interesting too the little because I'm very conscious about uh, still vlogging with like a big ass DSLR oh, that's a tight that's a that's a oh that's a tight fit that's a that's a tight fit. Oh, get in there. Is it not going to get in there? Get in there, get in there. Oh, that is a super tight fit. What in the world just happened? So we got that. I think actually I actually like a little thumb thing better than these big old ones. Like I'm saying, like it may be. Oh god, that's just. Yeah, let's. Let's do 1080 60 here. So I'm not sure what the. Was that linear? That was narrow. Let's do. Let's do super view. We'll see how this looks too. Is it? Did I mess it up sideways? <clears throat> Where am I at? I already forgot where I'm at. But, uh, yeah, I'll give this a try. Uh, if you have one, tell me what you think. Do you plan on getting one? I think that's it for this. I'm going to charge this up. Alright, I think that is it. Alright, peace.
Peace. All right, so...